MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game three of the National League Division Series between the Cincinnati Reds and the St. Louis Cardinals. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. With me is Mark DeRosen, Dan Plezak, and Dan. Lots to talk about here as we get ready for game three. And you got to figure here in a five-game series, the odds are long for coming back when you're down two games to none. But, hey, it's not impossible. It's been done before, but you can bet the other guys are hungry to end this thing right here and now to give themselves a couple of days off before the next series. This should be a good one. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. Matthew Liberatore will do his best on the mound to keep his team alive here in the division series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, not a very good start in his last one, Matt. Only four innings, so he did get a no decision. But he's a much better pitcher than that, and I know that they're expecting more than four innings. Hopefully a win, too, out of this guy in this Eddie. one. Yeah. Here's the first pitch to him. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And he is in the second with a two-out double. Hey, this guy's having a big series in the postseason. It looks like to me that the moment isn't too big for him. He's slowing the game down. He looks terrific. Yeah, absolutely. Postseason monster right here. Having a huge series. Any big leader can have their moment mid-May, but to do it when it gets cold outside means everything. And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. Runner in scoring Number position 22. with Sugan. A pause. And the 0-2. This is line to left. He's going, he's going, go, 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 Isbell go, go. We'll get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Danger averted following the two out double. Bottom of the first, straight ahead. We're scoreless on MLB Network. Leading off, four feet Lewis, the center fielder. Off there. Hey. hey. Fly ball out toward left center field. James will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first out. All set for the start of the fourth. And digging in is the big time power threat, Eddie James. First pitch of the at bat. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Hayes is underneath this one. One pitch, one away. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Kyle Isbell. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first out. Coming to the plate now, Kyle Isbell. He flew out in his last at bat. Kyle Isbell. Swing and a looper to left. In comes the left fielder. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Another good inning for the Cardinals as the usual sea of red love what they're seeing. 
at the plate, Eddie James. He leads off this half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by an opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Next up, the two-way Japanese import, Shohei Otani. One for two with a double on his line thus far. This is skied into short left center. James comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. Now at the plate, Eddie James. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. The Reds have been searching for that big hit all game long. Let's hope they can get it. They're starting to run out of time. It's about time for something to happen. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate, but this won't be in time as he's well safe and the run scores. No mistake what he was sitting on, looking for a dead red piece of cheese middle of the plate, and he didn't miss it. So striding forward now, Ramon Laureano. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. To second for one. Back to first, but he wasn't able to set his feet that time as he gets knocked down, and they only get one. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. So far, two for three in this one. That's lifted the other way out to left. James is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Cards leave one, and it remains an 11-2 ball game. Look, it's easy. You don't have to look any further than the fifth inning to see where this game was decided. They put together a big rally and did everything down the stretch to secure this one. This one pretty much over before it started as we give you a final look at the line score here in what turned out to be a blowout victory. Well, heroes are made in the postseason, and he was at least the hero in this one. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, no time like the postseason to come through and lift your team to victory. He was certainly a big factor here, and it was pretty cool our to final see. Line score this afternoon. 11 4 at the end.